ready to head out to the airport, guys. But first of all, dinner with dad before he takes me to the airport, drops me off from a big overnight flight to Sydney, then LA. It's gonna be fun. Keep your eyes peeled. Look at those bags. Are they gonna be baggy when I get there? Yes or no? You guys tell me. So guys, we got the in the flight hacks coming at you. Yeah, so I'm at the first airport, just about to start traveling to uh, Sydney, then LA, then Orlando. So um, what I have here is, I've got my liter of water, my blue light blockers to ensure that I don't get any light on the flight, but I'm actually staying up from, hence the double espresso, it's like nearly 11 p.m. Um, I'm staying up from here to Sydney, and tomorrow when I get on the plane, I crash from Sydney to LA, which means I get into the LA time zone. Then when I arrive, we're ready to rock and roll. I'm in my nice warm jumper. It's actually uh, Christy in my office's favorite jumper. She always wants me to wear it. Um, I don't really like to wear it that much. She really loves it. But uh, yeah, so we've got the plane now, so I'll film you guys a little bit as we go on there. Trip from here to Sydney. It's like four and a half hours. Then I think we've got like two hour layover. Then to LA, then to Orlando, then done for a couple days then we go to the next part but uh, yeah thought I'd film that you know a couple of my pre-flight hacks that I use every time to make sure that when I arrive I'm in a good time zone and I'm feeling fresh getting ready to go mapping out a few things before bit of action here in the Virgin Lounge Within 20 minutes, I've got my bags and already gone through customs on the way out already. Well done, LA. Currently been going for 24 hours, guys. Um, and we're here in LA, about to board to Orlando. Cannot wait to get there, get a proper sleep, shower, rest, food, until then. Just landed in Orlando, guys, but Freaking hot. It's like 30 degrees out here. It's steaming. Hey guys, so it's 6 40 a.m. I've been up for about an hour and a bit. Everyone else is still sleeping. A bit jet lag they are. I'm on point. But no coffee, so I had to do a sneaky Uber Eats order just to get two coffees. So I've got some for the guys when they wake up, there's coffee too, because I couldn't find any yet. But, gotta do what you gotta do, guys. So, had to get cheeky Uber Eats delivery for my coffee. One hour later, guys, my coffee has arrived. Had to get the cheeky McDelivery so I can have a nice coffee, because everyone's still sleeping. So I'm here, making shit happen. Got my stand-up desk popping. Classic stitch up. We can't get in yet. Door's locked. Guys, if you want to get into your house early, like this big mansion, just do what Rhonda does and set the alarm off. Because then they have to come and check it out. So yeah. they'll open the door for Makes you. Makes it easy. Strategies, guys. Yeah, strategies. Okay. Right? But look at this. Look at this place. I said Rhonda, get me the smallest house possible. That's what she does. This is just the pool, pool area. I'd show you inside, but it's alarming. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, it's see what alarm. I see what I did there? <laughs> Look at that! Boom! We'll do a walkthrough for you all soon. Really? So I set the alarm. So I'm gonna show you in a minute. It's super dope. But it's alarming. And just in case for those drunken nights, someone can get married over here. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, dude, Robert, we need to get married. What's that? We can get a drunken night, you can get married to somebody. Not just one, but like several. 
is for the wedding speeches. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like chandeliers. So we put chandeliers in your chandelier so you can chandelier while you chandelier. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Sneak peek. Like shooting stars. This is, uh, this is where I'm going to be dropping bombs, guys. It's going to be, get wait for it, it's going to be out of this world. Storms are here, guys. Check it. Welcome to Orlando. That's Honolulu. Do you have a mastermind, bro? So far, so good, guys. Ladies, loving it. All right, guys. In about half an hour, we're going to be dropping some bombs here, teaching all the Facebook marketings, all the different strategies for how to grow your business and make the competition irrelevant when it comes to marketing. Want to see? Should have been here. Oh, what's this? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were really lucky to be able to view the Optus Stadium, which is a gorgeous new stadium in Perth. We really wanted to find a space that was different. We want to set us ourselves apart from our competition and having a mastermind style event at Optus Stadium we thought would be extremely cool. They have amazing facilities as you'll see oh, the, the fresh air is just so gorgeous and to be able to host an event in that space for our clients we think will be a great draw card and the there's some really, really cool things um, that the facility has. So just picture all of your clients entering your beautiful event and then walking out onto the foyer area of the oval and then having a welcome video pop up on the most enormous screens that you've ever seen. I can't wait. If we get to do that, we've made it. Uh, Rebecca from Optus Stadium was fantastic. She showed us all of the options that we would have depending on the attendance of our guests. Uh, so we know that no matter whether we get 300, not that we're going for 300 at all, but if we had 300 guests versus if we really just wanted to create something super intimate for our Centurion clients to really give them that one-on-one -on -one time, we would have an option no matter what. The spaces there are just incredible. Uh, the feeling that we got there when we were able to walk around the stadium was just something else. So I can't wait to see how our clients react when they walk in, uh, when they get to experience the space. And I just know that the energy there is gonna be absolutely electric. When creating a event like this, it's not just about the content that you deliver. You really have to look at your surroundings and how your attendees are going to feel the most at ease, the most comfortable. Um, we really wanted to find somewhere that had a lot of natural light, a lot of opportunity to get fresh air, and also have something that's you know funky and modern because we are, we're, we're young, we're fresh sometimes. Um, and <laughs> uh, I feel as though the offerings of Optus Stadium are going to just be, um, you know, be able to give us that experience.